Our Father. For behold, the days are coming in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bear and the paps which never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry. Ezekiel chapter 16 Again the word of the Lord came unto me saying Son of man cause Jerusalem and cause the planet earth and America to know her abominations and say Thus saith the Lord God, Thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite, and thy mother an Hittite. And as for thy nativity, in the day thou wast born, thy navel was not cut, neither was thou washed in water to supple thee. Thou was not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. None I pitied thee to do any of these unto thee, to have compassion upon thee. But thou wast cast out in the open field to the loathing of thy person in the day that thou wast born. And when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thine own blood. I said unto thee, when thou wast in thy blood, live, yea, I said unto thee, when thou wast in thy blood, live. I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, and thou hast increased and waxen great, and thou art come to excellent ornaments. Thy breasts are fashioned, and thine hair is grown, whereas thou wast naked and bare. Now when I passed by thee and looked upon thee, behold, thy time was a time of love, and I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy nakedness. Yea, I swore unto thee and entered into a covenant with thee, saith the Lord God, and thou becamest mine. Then washed I thee with water, yea, I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. I clothed thee also with broader work, and shod thee with badger skin, and I girded thee about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk. I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy hands, and a chain on thy neck, and I put a jewel on thy forehead, and earrings in thine ears, and a beautiful crown upon thine head. Thou wast thou decked with gold and silver, and thy raiment was of fine linen and silk and broader work. Thou didst eat fine flour and honey and oil, and thou wast exceedingly beautiful. Thou didst prosper into a kingdom and a nation. Thy renown went forth among the people for thy beauty, for it was perfect through my comeliness which I had put upon thee. Saith the Lord God Almighty, but thou didst trust in thine own beauty and played the harlot because of thy renown and poured, and poured out thy fornications and every one that passed by his it was and of thy garments thou didst take and deckest thy high places with diverse colors and played the harlot the whore thereupon 
The like things shall not come, neither shall it be so. Thou hast also taken thy fair jewels of my gold and of my silver, which I have given thee, and made to thyself images of men, and did commit whoredom with them, and took thy broader garments and covered them. Thou hast set mine oil and mine incense before them, my meat also which I gave thee, fine flour and oil and honey wherewith I fed thee. Thou hast even set it before them for a sweet Savior. And thus it was, saith the Lord God. Moreover, thou hast taken thy sons and thy daughters whom thou hast borne unto me these have thou sacrificed unto them to be devoured. Is this of thy whoredoms a small matter? That thou hast slain my children and delivered them to cause them to pass through the fire for them. And in all thine abominations and thy whoredoms thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth when thou was naked and bare and was polluted in thy blood. And it came to pass after all thy wickedness. Woe, woe unto thee, saith the Lord God Almighty. But thou hast also built unto thee an eminent place and hast made thee a high place in every street. Thou hast built thy high place at every head of the way, and hast made the beauty to be abhorred. And hast opened thy feet to every one that passed by, and multiplied thy whoredoms. Thou hast also committed fornication with thy neighbors, greater flesh, and, and has increased thy whoredoms to provoke me to anger. Behold, Therefore, I have stretched out my hand over thee, and have diminished thine ordinary food, and delivered thee unto the will of them that hate thee, the daughters of the Philistines, which are ashamed of thy lewd ways. Thou hast played the whore also with the Assyrians, because thou wast unstable, Yah. Thou hast played the harlot, the whore, with them, and yet couldst not be satisfied. Thou hast moreover multiplied thy fornication in the land of Canaan unto Chaldea, and yet thou wast not satisfied herewith. How weak is thine heart, saith the Lord God, seeing thou doest all these things the work of an imperious whorish woman and that thou buildest thine intimate place in the head of every way and makest thine high place in every street and has not been as a harlot and that thou scornest higher but as a wife that committeth adultery which take of strangers instead of her husband that give gifts to all whores but thou givest thy gifts to all thy lovers and hirest them that they may come unto thee on every side for thy whoredom. And the contrary is in thee from other women and thy whoredoms whereas none followeth thee to commit whoredoms and in that thou givest a reward and no reward is given unto thee therefore thou art contrary Wherefore, O hearted, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Because thy filthiness was poured out, and thy nakedness discovered through thy whoredoms with thy lovers, and for the idols of thy abominations, and by the blood of thy children, which thou didst give unto them, prepare for the coming of the Lord God, Almighty. Amen.